Here we go. What'd you say? <laughs> He's a liar. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you were like in you're like halfway through saying something that was gonna sound very wrong, and then you're like well, didn't then you saw context, right? and then, <laughs> then you saw the phone and you're like, I should probably like unsay the other half of what I'm about to say. Yeah, so we've got the dually here. Thing is freaking peaches thick, right? Oh my gosh, dude. It's bodacious, bro. Thing is sick. So we're going to be taking some photos, some videos. We're going to be making this thing look extra, extra good here. Getting it some photos, some publicity for the old internet. Look how beautiful this thing is. Five speed, 12 valve Cummins, second gen. Ah, it's the perfect combination. It's the most iconic year of Dodge. It's the 12 valve, the most desirable diesel ever built. It's the five speed, the most desirable transmission from them. It's a four wheel drive model. And now it's looking like a total Bubba truck. We got literally the fat meats on the stocks and they completely lock with just a hair of room to spare. Even though that Isn't moron, that because it couldn't fit. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's never going to happen. You're never going to be able to put those on that truck. You'll never be able to turn the tires, even with a spacer. They're going to rub all over each other as soon as you put them on, and you're going to have to get new tires right away. Um, there's all that rubbing all over each other right there. He said with no load, too. He just said it doesn't matter if you're never going to tow with it. It'll never fit. That's what you call a Needless moron. Say, buddy, the guy was wrong. He's like, I would know. I've been in tire business for 20 years. Would you? Really? Really? Well, you must not have done everything then in those 20 years. There's always something you don't know. That's something you got to learn, people. There's always somebody that knows something that has done something that you have not yet done. And in this case, he's never actually built a cool truck. <laughs> So we're actually going to shoot some advertisements with these trucks here. I got some pretty funny. I'm definitely going to use those in reels and stuff. <laughs> I totally am. The one of you over here at the back of the truck was so funny, dude. <laughs> I'm like trying my best to get these good shots, you know, but it just makes me look so so feminine. It was it was like uh, it was like the the video you got of me with the I like truck I buy truck thing. You remember that? You know. You're like, hey, here's a stupid angle. I should take a video of him. <laughs> oh, perfect. But hey, people liked it. I mean, it did good. I don't know what reasons they liked it for. That's questionable. But <laughs> but they but it got a lot of likes and views. Right, right. If you have not heard, both of these trucks are up for grabs right now, but only until Sunday you can get entered to win both of these trucks and get 30 times entries towards both at the exact same time when you place orders at lnpgear.com. So when you place the orders, you automatically enter to win the trucks. Plus five grand comes with each truck, two drawings, potentially two winners, or you could get lucky enough to get drawn for both. That is just completely up to chance and how many entries you put in to win the things. But these things are freaking slick. We got Rosine, she's all wiped down. We got her all cleaned up and then we got the dually. It's wiped down. It's got the brand new tires on it. We have not put the new headlights and cab lights on. I wanted to see what you guys said in the previous video and I haven't seen those comments yet because that video has not gone live at the time I'm filming this one. But you let me know. I've already got the headlights and cab lights. It's just a matter of, do you guys want to see those on this truck or not? It's more of a, it's a completely clear and chrome headlight setup and a completely clear and white LED cab light setup. All white LEDs would be all on the front end of the thing. I definitely think it would look good, but this look is also just, duh. It just fits this truck so well, so it could go either direction for me, honestly. I'm gonna do a little bit of a side-by-side -side video here of Rosine and the 12 valve, and we're gonna do some side-by-side, -side, and we're gonna try to go over the main differences. For those of you that do not know, and maybe you have not seen the previous videos or you haven't paid attention to the, the fine details, um, I'm gonna use this as an example, like as a opportunity to show you the ins and outs of both trucks just so you fully understand what you're entering for in case you haven't seen all this stuff on the website. There is some stuff on the website, of course, if you go to the About the Truck page, it'll kind of go into detail on the what's done to the trucks, what years, makes, models, automatic, not automatic, you know, it'll go into the details on that stuff. Bear with me, the wind is, again, it was like perfectly calm this morning 
and I'm like, I'm gonna start to film a YouTube video and then it just it just got super windy every single time. I'm either gonna have to start filming my videos way earlier in the morning when the sun's just starting to come up and the wind hasn't picked up bad yet, or I'm gonna have to start doing it late in the evenings uh, and then just plan on editing my videos the next day because the wind has just been brutal. So we will start over here with Rosine. Rosine is the 2001 24 valve Cummins. Over 200,000 miles on the truck. Steering wheel's got a little bit of wear on it. There's a picture of my wife and I in the first YouTube video that we ever filmed together. This this truck's gonna be sad to see go. This was my wife's personal truck and uh, her baby in high school. And then it eventually became kind of a backup slash secondary fun vehicle once we got married and you know I gave her the options of other vehicles to drive that were just more practical with the kids and stuff because we do have two kids now so for anybody asking like well why would you get rid of it it's well she likes the truck she loves the truck but other than like taking it to the rodeo and leaving the kids with me or with family and stuff like that i mean she just she can't tow with it like she wants and she's got a big gooseneck horse trailer now the truck's lifted which is super cool if you're not doing a bunch of heavy heavy towing and stuff all the time and just getting kids in and out of the back seat of this and having to open the doors throw kids in the back the seat room is just not ideal the third gen's not a ton more room in the back but it is definitely more and the fact that you can have an additional door and you don't have to fold doors open and close like that for for our application under normal circumstances i love um just this simple back seat like in my 01 second gen um but for her with the babies it's just not something she really was too fond of and she wants to be able to use her truck with the kiddos when she's going to the horse shows and doing stuff and not feel like she has to take a different vehicle because she can't take the kids with her if she's in her truck uh, because both of our kids are currently in car seats and we're probably going to be dealing with car seats for several years still. So it's just something where she hates seeing it sit. And that's that's the reason for wanting to get rid of it. Stock rebuilt transmission on this truck. The only power mods that it has is an edge tuner from probably like 2017. Uh, so not not like anything crazy. Maybe it might even be older than that. I'm not sure. But no big no big injectors, no big turbo, no none of that stuff on it. The only thing she does have in terms of aftermarket to assist with fuel pressure is a fast fuel system with a sump. That way she does not run the thing out of fuel unless it is literally on zero because it's a sump with like a webbed system at the bottom of the fuel tank. So it maintains really good fuel pressure and it's always got fuel until it is literally out. And this is a 24 valve Cummins. Great truck, plenty of power, even on the lift with the 35s and the set, fully locks on this truck not a problem at all and again it's a head turner people love it she likes the truck she loves the truck there's nothing about the truck she does not like about it in terms of style and stuff like that but just with the kids it's just not something she wants to park in the barn and just have a truck she can't use all the time she wants to be able to use it drive it take the kids into the car seats and that's just the big stressing point um with this truck and the wife's new needs with her current stage in life but over here we have a 1997 12 valve cummins and this is a five-speed manual transmission he did say that it was a stock replacement clutch fifth gear nut was fixed on this thing and that's got 35 by 1250s 20 inch anthem wheels 20 by 12s and then on this truck we've got 305 70 r16 nitto ridge grapplers in my honest opinion, one of the best of the best in terms of an all-terrain and aggressive sidewall tire for a truck like this, for that stock suspension, beefy look. We're rocking stock second-gen dually wheels. They're the 16s. It is a 3500, of course, with the dually. Gonna pull the key out here. And this truck has only got a whopping 99,370 miles on it. It is a very low mileage truck and the thing runs amazing. Shifts through the gears beautifully. Um, like I said, the fifth gear nut was fixed on this thing. It's got an old school aftermarket Sony radio with DVD in there and everything works. The DVD, the aux connection, the radio, the speakers, everything in the doors, it all works. Um, and then other than that, the interior is stock. I mean, headliners in really good shape other than a couple tiny crinkles in that one corner. But that's it. No drooping headliner, nothing like that. No cracks in the dash. And yes, this is the factory dash. It's got no cracks whatsoever. 
It is in great, great condition. Um, all the cup holders, the outlets, everything, everything on this truck works the way that it's supposed to. Same for Rosine, other than the fact that the dash is not original, it is a replacement, and so is the bezel on that truck. This is all still original with no cracks. The switches work, mirrors work, the power functions work. Four-wheel drive, and I did lock it up the other day. It does work also. Beautiful truck, but yeah, 12 valve five-speed truck. Bone stock suspension, however, but it is a completely rust-free, immaculate truck from Arizona originally. And then a couple of years ago, it was brought to Pennsylvania and uh, it was fluid film coated, however, underneath and in the rockers and cap corners and all that stuff, the doors. So there's no rust anywhere on this truck. So it's a 99,000 mile, five speed, 12 valve, second gen, four wheel drive, stock suspension. It's not been all jacked up with. The only thing we've done is tent and tires. Keep it very simple and zero rust on the truck at all. I mean, it, it is literally perfectly clean. It's by far the nicest second gen 12 valve we've ever got our hands on and this thing is literally freaking i mean it's literally dang near perfect and in terms of power and performance on that truck he said there was a little bit of pump work done but not anything crazy for the most part i think he said it had like the afc housing and the fuel plate was ground down a little bit and they had it done by a buddy of his that is expert with 12 valves everybody says but uh the thing does run good it does puff a little smoke if you really get on it but for the most part, the thing runs really clean unless you absolutely hammer it. And it has plenty of power. There's no lag in the throttle. I mean, it literally runs like a stock 12 valve is supposed to, plus about 50 horse, give or take, is what it feels like to me. Um, he said they're stock injectors, stock turbo, all that. But uh, he said that it does have some fuel pump work done to the P pump. And he said it, it just really woke up the truck a lot and it just it does awesome that's where that thing sits right now if you guys want to see anything else done to that truck while we have it to mess with it at all but for the most part the thing runs freaking phenomenal right now and the only downside to messing with it is that once we do that we're going to have to mess with the clutch and we're going to have to mess with a whole bunch of other stuff because once you start adding a bunch of power now you got to worry about breaking stuff because oem parts can only take so much and let's be honest sometimes it's just worth leaving something alone because if it ain't broken don't fix it and this thing runs literally incredible at the moment. So I'm not sure if you heard everything out there. The wind is just terrible. I thought it'd be more enjoyable to be outside the truck than in the truck. The thing runs really, really well. Honestly, no complaints in terms of power. Like if you hook up a trailer to this thing, there's no doubts it's not gonna have any issues at all pulling. I mean, the thing runs good. So that's pretty much it for the 12 valve. And then uh, in terms of these two trucks, like I said, guys, you can get entered to win both these trucks right now at LMP Gear com by simply placing an order on the site and you're going to get 30 times entries towards both trucks you're going to get 30 times entries for both of them so if you spend you know three even just three dollars on the store you would literally get 90 entries for this truck and 90 entries for that truck just as an example so if you spend 30 dollars on the store i mean do the math look at some of the shirts on there uh it's going to get you a lot of entries and that entry amount is getting put into both giveaway drawings. So the giveaway drawing for that truck and for this truck, you're getting all those entries into both giveaway drawings. So this is hands down our absolute best time to enter a giveaway. If you don't enter right now and you're waiting to enter another time, it really just doesn't make any sense. I think all the giveaway winners that we've had for the last four or five giveaways all placed orders during the dual entry period. They get entered for both trucks and it doubles your chances of winning a truck because you're gonna get put in for that drawing and then you're also getting put into this drawing at the same time. So instead of just getting one giveaway truck entry, when you place an order, you're getting entered into two with our highest bonuses live currently. There's just no downside right now. And if you like five speed 12 valves, this thing is, it's as good as they get. I mean, the thing is amazing. If you're wanting a truck this clean, this low mileage with this configuration of manual, four wheel drive, no issues, no rust, no nothing, everything works. This is literally probably one of the nicest five-speed 12 out dualies in the country. I mean, the thing is flipping nice. And if you want to enter to win it, now is your time. Giveaway's literally ending and I think a, uh, two days, I think, two days. And the giveaway's done, 48 hours. And our highest multiplier is live right now for both. So get in while you can, guys. Somebody's got to take these trucks home. That somebody could be you. Good luck, everybody. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.